We are very privileged to be with you, particularly our brothers and sisters from the Caribbeans and the diaspora. And the people from all over Africa, our brothers and sisters from all over Africa. I wish at this point to particularly to apologize deeply on behalf of the chiefs and people of Gold Coast and Ghana for the atrocities, the cruelty, the inhuman treatment that were committed 400 years ago by my ancestors during the Atlantic slave trade, where over 400 years ago, millions of our brothers and sisters were captured, sold, and transported under inhumane and cruel circumstances through Elmina Castle across to the Caribbeans and to the New World. On behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, I do render unqualified apology deep from the bottom of our hearts, deep from our bottom of our hearts. But one thing that I want you to be aware of it was not without resistance. Some of our chiefs did fought and resisted. Some of our people did fought and resisted. But we are fighting a losing battle against a stronger army. People with guns, and we had no guns. They deceived us with liquor. and all other temptations. Whatever the circumstances that led us to us, we stand here to render apology. And it's my wish and prayer that this apology is accepted, is accepted yes. Yes. by our brothers and sisters from the diaspora. May the blood of Jesus assist us to overcome that evil that never again, never again should be a witness. Amen. This cruelty, this inhuman cruelty of man to man in this country. I thank you and once again on behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, we do render this apology. And I ask my colleague to add a few words to what I have said to you. And it's my wish and prayer that in the name of the blood of Jesus, you do accept our apology. Thank you very much. We stand here once again symbolically at the gate of no return. We stand here as husband and wife. We stand here as the African male and as the African woman, the African family, the African community, the representatives of an African nation in a diaspora. We have come to say that we've heard your words. We have discerned through our experience and through our journey that what the devil meant for evil, God meant for good. Through all our trials, through all our tribulations, God has a plan. And that plan involves us standing together, us once again loving, us once again being brothers and sisters, us once again embracing. Put your arms around somebody and let them know and feel the love of God. Even as we stand at the door of no return, we are here. We are here by the grace 
of God. We are here by the grace of God never to return again to the atrocities that have been experienced in this place. We accept with love, we accept with joy your apology and we stand with you rising together in Jesus name Amen I looked out yesterday and I saw the poverty and I said surely God there must be a curse the, the slaves would have cursed this place and there must be a curse from just what happened here but this is the beginning of liberty and freedom for your town and your area for what you have done today that what we have witnessed those devils are silenced today no more it will never happen again because God is the Lord that led us all all of us stand here today to receive with humility to receive your apology. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you for my people. Thank you. Thank you.